For a while now, I've been fiddling around with the tile map system in Unity, trying to remove some of the rigidity that comes with grouping a bunch of tiles in one object. Over the past week, I've developed an easy, dynamic, and modular way to destroy tiles the right way. This could be used for a digging game, for weapon destruction, it can be used in many different applications. I'm Crafty Clubim, and let's jump into the tutorial. First, open the Unity project with your tile map in and some tiles already placed. Let's create a new script for the tile map game object called Tile Destroyer. Open that up and let's start our script. First, let's add the Unity tile maps library and a new tile map variable. In the start function, let's use get component to initiate the variable. Make a vector3 variable for the mouse position and make that equal to camera main dot screen to world point uh, and put inside there input dot mouse position. We also need to make a vector3 int for the tile position. Make that equal to grid dot world to cell with the mouse position in there. This checks for when the mouse button is clicked. Inside this we need to use tile map dot set tile at the tile position with null which effectively destroys the tile. So so sorry guys, make sure make sure you use camera dot screen to world point instead. Next, let's create a new function called get local tiles. We're going to create four tile positions and tile variables for the blocks surrounding the middle destroyed tile. We'll find their positions by utilizing the main tile position and subtracting and adding from there. So let's create vector3 integer variables for all the local tiles, and modify the tile position to get us to their positions. We also need to create tile variables for them, so make those and use tilemap.getTile with the positions to find the actual tiles. Back in the update function, let's add the getLocalTiles function and add tile position as the input. Next, create serializable variables for all the tiles in your tile map. Yours will probably be different than mine, but you can follow this template to test it at first. Try and find a good naming system, because it will make your life a lot easier in the future. After that, go into the editor and add your tiles into the correct spots. I switched to light mode so that I could see my tiles easier. Back in the code, let's create an enumerator called tile type and add all of our different tiles. What's an enumerator? In computer programming, an enumerator type, also called enumeration enum or factor in the R programming language, and the categorical variable in statistics, the data type consisting of a set of name values called elements, members, a numeral or enumerators of the type. We're going to use it to have a constant variable system with our switch statements. We also need two lists. For one, make an object based list called local tiles, and another tile type list. This is how we're going to find the tile types for our local tiles. Let's go initiate those two lists in the get local tile script. The local tiles list needs to contain the tile objects in order from north to west. Before we make the local tile types, we need to make a new tile type function called getTileType and use if statements to return the correct tile object for each of the tile types in the enumerator. Using this, we can return the specific tile for each of the local tiles. Next, we need to make another enumerator called tileLocation that simply contains north, east, south, and west. Under get local tiles, make a new function called update tiles with a tile location input called loc. Inside this function, let's create our first switch statement based on the tile location variable. In this switch statement, we will have four cases, one for each of the tile directions, using our tile location enumerator. Basically, what our switch statements do is check what direction a given tile is from the destroyed tile and then changes its tile type based on what tile it previously was. This will take a little bit of trial and error because it will be different for each tile set. Some tips I can give you is that the east tile case is very similar to the west tile case, so you pretty much just have to change out the tiles from right to left. This somewhat works for the north and south cases, but they do have some differences. I'm going to upload this project to GitHub so you guys can test it out with this free tile set I'm using. Okay, that's it. You've made your very own dynamic tile map destruction script that you can use to destroy tiles whenever you need in your game. 